so now as i told you we will look at how we can insert the data which is coming to our classes right now type orm supports a repository design pattern okay so what happens is any database level communication should ideally be handled through a repository okay and so what we will do is we'll create our quiz repository so the idea is that any database activity will be done by quiz uh, the quiz repository and the data will be fetched by the service and the service is something which the controller interacts with so the controller never really um, directly interact with the repository but rather with the services because the services are the injectable classes which we can inject in some other classes also if required for example right if i have a service for user which is required in quiz i can do that however i am not or rather we should not ideally look at injecting a repository of user into the controller that being the you know, only difference you know so that you are you are always relying on services rather than the repositories you know if that makes sense okay so that's how i typically work um so the repository right so what do we do to create a repository we first of all export a class it's again a class which extends the repository class okay now the repository class needs to know what what model we are dealing with and hence i send the quiz module a um, model to it okay and we need to add a decorator in here also we will pass the quiz entity now the moment we have extended the repository there are a lot of functions which will be available to us for example you know has id get id create okay merge and a lot of other stuff okay which we can very easily execute but as i told you we need to first ensure that we are not directly using the repository we are using it through the service right so first of all we will need to tell the quiz module that there is a repository so somewhere here now if you remember in type uh, in the module file app module we did type orm for root okay because this was the base module in here we will do type orm dot for feature okay and in this we'll pass the quiz repository this is just the pattern just follow it and then you should have everything in place so now our module knows that we have a repository and so when i go to my service in here right i'll have a constructor okay and in the constructor i can inject my repository okay like so and i'll say private quiz repository and this is of type quiz repository okay and then with this because we said that the service will communicate with the repository right so i'll do a sync create new quiz and because we have the create quiz dto so we will say that what we are expecting is the quiz which is of this create dto type which has a title and a description right so we will will have that and then in here we can do return await this quiz repository dot i should have a save function in here yeah and i pass the save in here right so we haven't really written any code inside of our repository we can extend any of the functionality if we want to but yeah for now that's how it is okay so this is done and the last thing is inside our quiz controller we have this right we are returning instead we will return 
await this quiz service dot create new quiz and again I'll pass quiz data in here and because this is await I'll need to do a sync so where is postman oops not postgres come over here and we have this so let's send a request and we get an id back with is active true which means the data was inserted properly this is great right so we have you know validations in place we have our type ORM set up with the database it's a Postgres database but yeah you can change it to MySQL if you want to there's nothing you know very uh, typical about you know typical Postgres with that we will be doing but yeah ORMs are built in a way so that you can you know switch between any driver having said that so yeah this is inserted if I add one more Okay, I can't basically forget Laravel. So <laughs> somewhere the thing just comes up. But anyways, so we have two quiz um, entries in here in the, inside the database. So the, f the format now is that the controller is getting the request, which is a DTO, which is getting validated because of the validation pipe, right? And okay, so I'll just remove this so that now our status code is 201 right okay so yeah so the controller gets the request it runs the validation pipe on this based on the DTO if everything is fair it sends the data to the quiz service now the quiz service here right now is simply returning it to the repository and uh, sorry it's simply sending it to the repository and returns back whatever is the result but if we want we can play around with the data in, inside the service and then send it to the repository if we want to and yeah once we get the saved data from the repository into the service it is being sent back to controller which is returned and we can see it here so yeah that's about it on how we can create the uh, the quiz in the next video let's look at how we can fetch all the quizzes and also fetch by id so thanks for watching guys if you like this videos and this series do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel